thank you for joining me and um first of all like i said huge congratulations on your involvement in um with the wicked movie so i would love to sort of know more about how you know you were personally involved and introduced to the world of wicked were you like a fan of the original broadway musical or did you get to know about wicked after you were offered the role absolutely i mean i have been a fan of wicked since its inception uh, it was the first show i ever saw on the west end so it was my first time in london as a kid seeing it on the west end and since then i've seen it about seven times over the years um it's one of those shows that like if i've got friends visiting or i'm you know i'm looking for something fun to do it's always a good time it's never like a tedious experience it's absolutely incredible every single time i see it i'll probably see it even more times now <laughs> Yeah, it, it, I think it deserves to be seen multiple times. It's such a beautiful production. So, um, you know, being a part of the Wicked movie, I would love for you to sort of walk me through how the entire initial audition process went for you. Like, do you remember your first impressions of your own character when you were first off with the script? Yeah. So I I was kind of familiar with the characters of uh, Shen Chen and Fanny uh, from the books. So obviously they're in the books. Uh, but in the stage musical, they're not really featured a whole lot. So it was really good that um, these two characters have kind of been fleshed out and, you know, brought to the forefront a bit more, which I enjoy. Um, but the audition process, I tell you what, it is really a testament to how seriously and like devoted the casting team were. Because I had to audition six times, six or seven times over like a few months um, you know, they're not messing around when it comes to finding the right people. So it was, I think it was like a self-tape, um, an in-person meeting with casting, an in-person meeting with John, a dance um, audition, uh, a chemistry audition where they partnered people off and then a recall for that. So all in all, I think it was six or seven. Um, but every time I was just like, you know what, even, even if I don't get the part, uh, you know, I'll come in, I'll I'll run people's coffees, I'll like, I'll be one of the lighting people, I'll change careers, like I have to be in this film, it doesn't matter what capacity. Um, so actually getting to be a named character is, is wonderful. And we're looking forward to seeing you, I know you're, like we haven't even seen you and I already know you're going to be amazing in this. <laughs> so, so like what was the general creative process behind you know portraying this character did you have any sort of particular acting ritual that you love to immerse yourself into in order to get into the mindset of Shen Shen before you portray her in front of the cameras absolutely yeah um so we did a lot myself and Bowen did a lot of like um at the very beginning of rehearsals we did a lot of uh like character work and improvising and for myself I think one of the biggest things that helped me get into the mind of you know this like bitchy sidekick uh was i watched mean girls far too many times um and there was like a few real life people like um there's a couple of youtubers and like old school paris hilton and all the old school divas of the like 2000s where everything's very like yeah okay you're you're gonna think that okay um so yeah, it was just really kind of getting my inner diva on and the nails became this huge thing for Shen Shen that she's always just constantly like, oh my God, I love my nails. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot of like listening to 2000s pop and, you know, being not very nice, which is always fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, Mean Girls and Wicked, I mean, these two are like one of the most, like... How do you even say? Like, I'm very pink right now, so like, I'm I'm a huge fan of both. Um, of but yes, <laughs> yeah. So, um, do you remember, you know, meeting your co-stars for the first time, as well as you know, um, what your first day was like on set of the kid? Absolutely. So I met um, I met Bowen during rehearsals, um, and he is so so wonderful to work with. He's someone that is so funny and so quick that it feels like you're being you're being in really good hands with him um in terms of being a co-star and ariana meeting her for the first time was such an out-of-body experience uh so it was during rehearsals and i'd not met her yet 
and I'd been rehearsing for maybe a week or two, just kind of getting the lay of the land. And we were all in these little kind of like dressing rooms that we could go and have our lunch in. And I remember I was having my lunch and I was eating and then there was like a little tiny knock on the door, like a feather. And I was like, oh, hi, come in, thinking it's, you know, an AD, an AD or someone from production. And Ariana comes skittering in. She's like, oh, my God, Brown Wayne, hi, I've been dying to meet you. And I'm like, uh, you're Ariana, you're Ariana. And it was so, and she was so lovely and so sweet and very, like, so opening and welcome and bubbly and wonderful. Uh, and she was like that every single day on set. And the same with Cynthia. She, um, I met her first time during rehearsals as well. And she was just kind of sitting and it was a, a part of the uh, rehearsals that, excuse me, <laughs> hello. It was part of rehearsals <laughs> that, we, uh, that we were in that she wasn't actually rehearsing, but she was there every single day, even if, she wasn't rehearsing anything, even if she wasn't participating. She was always around where the action was. And so we kind of just sat down and had a good chat and, you know, talked about weddings because I was getting married at the time. And yeah, just a cast full of incredible, amazing, talented people. And huge congratulations on your wedding. I didn't know that. So oh, it must thank be you. Yeah, real. It must yeah be I had, had a wicked wedding. <laughs> Not wicked <laughs> themed, but... We were in the middle of shooting and I was like, can I have three days off to go get married, please? And they were like, okay, fair enough. That must be so, like, life on train. You know, you're doing wicked mm -hmm. and then you're getting married. That's, like, two of the best moments of your entire life. Exactly. But, so, um, like you were saying before that, you know, Shen Shen, you knew about her because you read the books, but, um, you know, not a lot of people um, have been introduced to her character and they sort of mm -hmm. consider her to be a novel addition to, in the world of Wicked, even though she exists. Um, so, like, what can you tell us about her character as well as her arc in the movie? Like, for the people who have no idea about her, um, is there anything that you can tell us about your performance? Absolutely. Um, she... She is very much the little devil that sits on Glinda's shoulder. She's everyone. Everyone knows a Shen Shen. Everyone knows a Fanny, and they're known and not well liked. So they're these characters that kind of ride off the coattails and success of Glinda. They're very much like, oh, you should do this. Like we're going to be your number one fans, but you're going to do it in a way that we want you to do it. Um, so they're definitely people that kind of initiate the um, the change in Galinda. You know, she's gone this, her whole life being very perfect and popular and um, maybe a bit selfish in a way. And it takes the kind of cruelty of Shen Shen and Fanny, um, of them being like, well, make her wear this ugly hat, let's humiliate her, she doesn't belong here. Um, and it takes Galinda seeing that cruelty from people that are her, that are her best friends and being like, actually, I don't want to be part of that anymore. I'm going to go down a different path. Um, so in a way, I mean, in my opinion, we're quite integral. <laughs> but but yeah, it's it's definitely a more of a fleshed out kind of um, arc for Fanny and Shen Shen. But by the end of it, they don't really learn their lesson, <laughs> as, as those people never do. <laughs> and um, like, you know... Um this is like one of the biggest musical production, you know, Broadway was such a huge success, the, the Broadway production. And now we're finally having it on screen in, in, you know, in the form of a movie. So is there any specific sequence that you're very much looking forward for everyone to see and, you know, sort of get their reactions on maybe a, a favorite scene that you just absolutely love? Oh, that is... It's so that is such a difficult choice because there are so many incredible parts in it. I think the, my most favorite part of film uh, was um, loathing or what is this feeling? So it's the big kind of you know hate number between Elphaba and Glinda, and it's where they're first like introduced as enemies that then become friends. Um, so we rehearsed that absolutely weeks and weeks we rehearsed that it felt like anyway and then we broke for summer and came back to film it in autumn 
And by that point, I'd forgotten the entire dance. So it was a lot of like, okay, I'm just going to grab the nearest professional dancer to me and be like, please teach me the dance again. Um, but luckily everyone was very sweet and nice. And it actually turned out being one of my favourite things to film because, you know, you're just surrounded by everyone that's really talented and amazing, stunning dancers. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to pretend I know what I'm doing. Um, and I think the, I think one of the scenes, it was definitely one of my, my favourite to watch because um, luckily I was, I was part of the scene. Um, and it's the part where Galinda and Elphaba are at the Ozdust. And spoiler alert, uh, Elphaba comes down. She's, she's wearing the hat that she's been goaded into wearing and everyone's pointing, everyone's laughing. Um, and it's a really difficult, difficult scene. It's a difficult scene to watch because, you know, you watch um, Cynthia as Elphaba and she's, you know, she's crying and it's like this big public humiliation scene. And... At having to look at Cynthia who is like head to toe perfect in every way and point and laugh is awful and I hated it um, but it's such a beautiful scene because at every single take Ariana and Cynthia were just right there right in the emotions and it was just really special to watch these kind of two people have this already strong friendship in themselves but also seeing their characters strive for that as well mm. pertaining to that what you just said um a lot of actors that i usually talk to have an element or sort of like an aspect that they take away from their time and experience on set be it their costumes the makeup experience with their co-stars crew something memorable you know so is there any thing in particular that you feel like you took away from your time on this production absolutely yeah definitely um I mean, obviously, having having an incredible, like, just fun experience with with the cast of Wicked and with the crew and everyone, that was the biggest takeaway, because there was such a lack of, um, such a lack of egos. There was such a lack of like, I'm this is a job. I'm just gonna come in, get it done, and, and go. Everyone was so in it, and everyone was so committed to Mick because it's. Wicked is precious, and as a Wicked super fan, I am precious about it. Um, and everyone else was like that as well. No one was, you know, half assing it. There was no, no one's pulling any punches. Um, so having having a cast like that is is quite a rare thing, actually. Um, and I think the other thing that can really be taken away, in my own kind of personal experience, is it's such a good like moral story it's such a good like thorough of um of like integrity and uh, that's why people love wicked so much it's because it's got such a good strong message to it um and that's why i've seen it seven times it's gonna be eight in a bit so you're a super fan we get it like it's and and i know a lot of people are going to be your super fan too after this you know movie comes oh, out <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> so yeah so um wrapping you know wrapping up our beautiful conversation i have to ask you what's next for you bronwyn apart from this highly anticipated movie that i and probably millions of people around the world are really really keen on watching and witnessing your performance in is there anything else that you're currently working on that you'd like to tell us or your fans about yeah um so i'm currently um i've just finished um shooting on the new live action of How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, so we were filming that in Belfast for, from about January till about April or so. Um, so that's something that's still very much like in the very long process of being edited and everything. Uh, but I'm really excited for that coming out. That should be coming out at some point in my life, I hope. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Um, but yeah, that was again another another Universal production. So of course, it was amazing to work on that as well. And I've been very lucky actually recently. Like every, everyone that I'm working with is really nice and really not that people are in general. But um, yeah, it's just very lucky to have two jobs in a year that I just really like everyone on it, and I'm really proud of it. 
Uh, so really, really big things coming for you and we are very excited to see you. And once again, thank you so much for taking out your time for this interview. Thank you for speaking with me. Thank you.